Hello everyone, it's Jermaine Grant. Today I'm going to show you how to do this animated title intro effect using the track map key inside Premiere Pro. Let's get into the video. Okay, let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a color map. New item, color map. I'm going to make the color map blue. You can make it whatever color you want. Okay, okay. I'm going to drag that into my timeline. That's going to go on video one. And then I'm going to drag my footage onto video two. And now I'm going to create a title. I'm going to try and make sure that my title fits the whole frame. Type in my title that I want. The city. Now you can line it up however you want. You can use a different font. Depends on your taste. I'm just going to change the position and scale. Yep, I'm fine with that. So once you have your title ready and how you want it. Select the color map on video one, go into your effects control panel. You're going to want to type in track map. So you want to use the track map key. I'm going to click and drag into my effects controls panel, or you can double click just as long as the video clip clip is highlighted. So basically there has to be at least two layers in order for this effect to work. It allows you to show a layer within the contents of a layer above it. So I have my color map selected. Now I'm going to click on the drop down next to matte and select video three. Now the blue color matte is showing whatever is within the content of the layer above it. In this case, it's the text. I'm going to do the exact same for my aerial footage on video two. Drag and drop track matte key. Select that to select my matte or my target track to video three. Now to create the smooth transition from the blue to the video clip, I'm just going to animate the opacity of the aerial clip. Go inside a keyframe. I'm going to go 15 frames ahead. You can go as many frames as you want. Add another keyframe. I'm going to come back to the first keyframe and set the opacity to 0%. To make the transition more natural, I'm going to highlight both of them. Right click, select Bezier. I'm going to click the last frame and select Ease In. And I'm going to click the first frame and select ease out. This just smooths the transition between the blue showing and the clip showing. I'll increase this a bit just to make it a little bit more smooth. And now we have a nice smooth transition into the city. But I'm going to go a bit further. I'm going to add, I'm going to animate the position of the text. So I'm going to highlight the text, go into my effects panel, type in 3D, drag my basic 3D effect into my effects control panel. I want it to look like we're flying into the text or I want it to look like text is flying into the screen, if that makes any sense. And I'll come up and I'm going to select a distance to image. This basically just pulls the image closer or further away to the screen rather than changing the scale, which I find you can lose quality if you scale the image too big. I'm going to drag this back. We'll say about there. I'm going to set a keyframe of where I want my animation to start. I'm going to click on the text drop down menu and set a keyframe on position under the transform parameter. I'm going to go to the end of the text clip in my timeline and set another keyframe. That's around with the distance to image and position so that we don't see any black edges. So we just see our video aerial clip. So now we have the text looking like it's flying into the screen. Just for an extra touch, I'm going to animate the opacity at the beginning of the text. I'm going to set two keyframes on opacity 15 frames apart. I'm going to highlight and click Bezier and select Ease In and Ease Out. And so we end up with something looking like this. And guys, that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you very much for getting this far. And I'll see you again next week. Goodbye. If I take you down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just want to hit me with a quickie by the bullet. I'm like, yes, ma'am. Where well, you got me feeling?